Sailor Guardians! My name is Sailor Snubs, and I am probably going to regret making this video. Over the course of the past year or so, I have been collecting all of the figure art minis so that I could do a big unboxing video for you. And I think today is that day because apparently Bandai Spirits is just continually going to be releasing these figure art minis. So if I try to wait around for all of them to come out, I'm gonna be waiting a very long time. So I decided to go ahead and unbox all of the Sailor Senshi since I have all of these. And then in a future video, I'll do all the new ones like Princess Serenity and King Endymion. There's also a new Sailor Moon Eternal Cosmos Edition that was just released at time of recording. I am really excited to open these, but I'm also a little bit hesitant because I heard that they are a pain in the hoo-ha to put together. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully I can get this done in a decent amount of time. So we used to have the Petite Chara line, which you can see back here. I have a whole bunch of them in little acrylic cases. And for some reason, we really didn't get a complete line of those. We had a few of the bad guys. We didn't get every single season of bad guys. And it's been years since they released new Petite Charas. Well, I think it's because they started coming out with these instead. So now we have these ones called the Figure Arts Minis, which feature each of the Sailor Senshi as little chibi characters. And these are basically miniature versions of Figure Arts. If you've never seen a Figure Art figure before. They are really, really nice, high quality figures. I have several of them back here and I have done other reviews of figure arts on my channel. So if you haven't seen those, definitely check them out. These ones are much smaller. They come in these cute little window boxes. Here we have Sailor Moon. Each of them features the name of the character on the front in both English as well as Katakana. Up at the top, we have a number. So very similar to like Funko Pops. So this is number one. On the side, we have some promo art. On the bottom, we have a choking hazard because this is the international release. The top features both a Toei sticker as well as the Tamashi Nations quality sticker. So you know that it's a legitimate item. And then on the back, we have some more promo art and information about the character. So here it mentions that she has a glittering eye technology, which I believe just means that she has like shiny eyes, 3D modeling and glossy coloring. Yeah, it's not really glittery. It's just 3D modeled and glossy. Then we have the interchangeable arms which allow you to interchange different parts for the character. So she does come with extra parts. And it also says she has a well-articulated neck, shoulders, and legs. So you can pose her in a variety of ways. Each of the characters do include the same kind of information. So first we have Sailor Moon. Of course, you already saw her. Then we have Sailor Mercury over here with also adorable box art. Sailor. Mars. Again, very cute box art. She's number three in the line. Mercury is number two. Sailor Jupiter. Adorable. So, so cute. Sailor Venus. She's number five. Uranus and Neptune. So here's Uranus. She comes with a sword. So cute. Look at her face. She's adorable. She's number 32, so you can tell that they have made these lines for other anime as well. So it's not just Sailor Moon, so it skips up to 32. Here we have 33, Sailor Neptune. Her eyelashes, look how dark her eyelashes are. Like, she's got fake eyelashes on. They're so thick. She looks cute though, and she comes with her mirror. That's adorable. Oh, let's see. Then we have Super Sailor Saturn and Super Sailor Pluto. Pluto. Oops, sorry, Pluto. She's number 35. And then we have Sailor Saturn, who is number 34. She looks so cute. She also comes with her silence glaive. So cool. The last two that I have here, Super Sailor Moon's box is a little bit squished, but that's okay. So here's Super Sailor Moon. So you can tell that she comes in a different fuku. She's number 30. So she actually came out before the Outer Guardians and she does come with the Kaleida Moon Scope and Super Chibi Moon. Sorry, she's a little bit dusty. She's number 31 and she also comes with her Kaleida Moon Scope. With all of that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these little babies unboxed. It's gonna take me some time, BRB. So now that I have all of these figure art minis out of the box, 
Let's talk about them all. I'm so excited. Okay, so I will start with Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon comes with two extra hands and a stand. I feel like her piggy tail is gonna fall out of her Odongo, so I'm gonna be very gentle with that. So this is an articulating little character. So her head moves around. You can also move her legs around so she could like look like she's walking or sitting. Lots of different poses. And you can also articulate her hands. Now I heard from some other collectors that they are kind of a pain in the butt to get the other hands into their shoulders. So let's see if I can do that. I'm gonna twist her sideways so her pigtails don't get in the way. Let's try taking out this arm. I feel like this might be a little bit easier because I have nails. So I have some precision that I can use. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I had to twist it in order to like really get it in there, but here we go. Okay, so there she has her little insignia peace sign. Everybody knows so well. And then I can also put this hand in to make it look like, I'm gonna put that one in too. So let's twist her this way, put in her other arm. So this one would go in like this. I don't wanna mess up the paint either, so I'm trying not to like scuff it. Oh, she's adorable. Okay, what do you think? Isn't she so cute? So let's point out some details. Her compact in the center is not very detailed, but you can see a little crescent moon on there in teeny tiny specks of color for each of the little gemstones. Her earrings are colored for white with a crescent moon in gold at the bottom. You do see that there's a gemstone in the middle of her tiara, and there's a bit of a pearlescence sheen going on with the Odongo shields. I also really like that her boots are super shiny, so they're not matte like her skirt is. Her eyes are definitely very shiny, and they also have a bit of a 3D texture to them. Not much though. And it's strange. I feel like her hair is kind of dark. Like it's almost a, how would I describe this? This is almost like a sun, like a sunshine yellow, as opposed to a bright like blonde, like I'm used to seeing. Now, if I compare that to the Super Sailor Moon one, you can see what I'm talking about. This one has more of like that sunshine color or like a daisy or a sunflower. This one looks more like how I would describe Sailor Moon's hair color being. It's very odd that they chose two different colors for the two figure arts minis. It makes it almost look like a different character. Also, this one's head looks a little bit bigger or maybe she's just, she's taller. She's just a little bit taller than the regular Sailor Moon one is. Is that because this one is older? But why would her hair color change? So strange. Her hair color is a little bit closer to Sailor Venus's. Check that out. So interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna put these limbs somewhere so I don't lose them and my cat doesn't try to eat them or my dog. Gonna go ahead and put her on her stand. The little placement for the stand is on the back. Hopefully it holds her. Oh, good, okay. So this is on a little pivot joint so you can move this around. That's good because I felt like it was a little bit too tall for her. So I do need to lean it forward a bit. It's kind of hard to get it in there. I feel like I'm just gonna like put her on here and never touch it again because yeah, she falls out kind of easy. Easily. But I don't want to break this because it's made out of this like fragile plastic. Okay, I think I got it on. Are you gonna stay, Sailor Moon? Please stay. Swear to God. Ah, shit. Okay, don't go anywhere, Sailor Moon. I've got her on her stand. <laughs> so here is Sailor Moon. How cute is she? Isn't she adorable? Oh, I love her. Okay, let's mess with the rest of them. I won't spend as much time on the rest of them since I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. So here we have Sailor Mercury. Again, she has the shiny boots. I love that her earrings are complimentary. They look great. Her eyes do look shiny. They look very well detailed. And I do like the airbrushing happening on her hair. She looks very, very cute. I'm not gonna switch out her pose because I do like the pose that she comes with. So I'm gonna set these to the side and go ahead and put her on her stand. Okay, there we have Sailor Mercury. She's ready to go. Now, Sailor Mars came with the same pose as Sailor Mercury. She does have shiny shoes, which look very cute. Her earrings are adorable. I love the little stars. And I also really appreciate that her eyes have that nice purple hue to them. And her hair is a gorgeous raven black. Very pretty. So cute. I am going to switch out one of her arms, give her a different pose. See if I can manage this without breaking literally everything. 
Oh Lord. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Again, ain't that bad. Ain't that bad. I don't know if I'm switching out the right hand. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> I was looking at her thumb and I was like, I think this is the right one. No, <laughs> definitely not. I had a 50% chance of getting it right there and I got it wrong. All right, let's switch out the correct one this time. Oh, look at her booty. <laughs> I kind of like that pose. <laughs> I kind of like that pose. How's that pose? For <laughs> She's like booty popping. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick her like that. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I, I like this pose a lot. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Although you can, you can see her panties. Oh no, Mars. Come on, girl. These stands are not very, they're not very good. <laughs> like they don't really stick in the back very well and hold them into place. They're, I feel like they're a little loose, so it's really easy for your character to fall. <laughs> there, I put her in the pose. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> She's gonna fall over. Her head's a little top heavy. All right, so there's Sailor Mars. Then we have Sailor Jupiter. Jupiter looks adorable as ever. And here we have Sailor Jupiter. She has very, very cute little boots and there is a little bit of detailing on there for her laces. Her eyes are adorable and she does have her rose earrings. I appreciate that the little baubles in her hair are shiny and her ponytail looks so cute. Her ponytail does move. So if you wanna put it to the side, you can totally do that. Okay, let's get her set. I am gonna switch out her pose. Both of those pop out. These ones go in. These are definitely kind of hard to get in there. But I'm feeling a little bit more confident as we go along. There, how cute is that? Look, oh, she's adorable. Yeah, I like that pose. That's cute. Now I do suggest, and I kind of figured this out, move these around a little bit so you can pose them better. That'll give you a little bit more wiggle room with these stands. There we go. Okay, I got Jupiter on her stand. Oh, she's cute. I also twisted her hair so it looks like it's kind of flowing. Let's move on to Sailor Venus. Oh, I like Sailor Venus's pose too. I'm gonna have to switch it out. Kind of wish I didn't like the poses so that I wouldn't have to switch them out, but I don't want them to all be the same. So yeah, say goodbye to your fingers. Goodbye hands, one hand. I feel like my fingers are gonna be like raw after messing with all of these little figure arts minis. <laughs> Oh, geez, Venus. Can I pop your head off? Oh, thank God. Okay. This pose is a pain in the front. All right. Okay, there we go, Venus. You've been the hardest one so far. Thanks a lot, girl. All right, so she's got this fun little pose going on. These things are a pain in the butt. I'm never moving these. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get these into their positions and never move them. Okay, so she's on her stand. Nobody touch her. She is on her stand, folks. You can go over there. Stay. Sit. Okay. Next, let's do the outer Sailor Sanchi. Let's start with Sailor Uranus. I am totally digging her vibe. We are going to switch hers out as well. I feel like hers are going to be easier because I don't have to fight with a giant mane of hair behind her. So, Oh man, super Sailor Uranus. I am glad you got short hair, girl. So there's her sword. And then we have her fierce pose going on here. I'm really trying to like not clip my nails. Her head's coming off, sorry girl. I am sorry, but it has to come off. So I have some room to wiggle this thing back and forth. Ah, get in there. Okay, there, it's in. I, I felt it click into place, okay. That's cute. Check her out with no head, adorable. But she's way cuter with her head. Oh, there we go, okay. Again with the really thick eyelashes. Like they're cute, but I feel like she went a little heavy with the, with the eye shadow and the eye liner. Maybe she's wearing thick eyelashes, I don't know. They're fake for sure. All right, but she does look really cool with her sword. She looks like she's gonna attack her, the rest of the Sailor Senshi with her sword. <laughs> she's cute though, I like her. She looks cute, she looks really good. Again, they have that really nice airbrushing going on in her hair. Let's go ahead and put her on her stand. Okay, she wasn't too bad. She was pretty easy to put together. 
happy about that. Let's set her to the side and move on. Next up, let's get Sailor Neptune put together. Sailor Neptune does come with her mirror. Now, it, of course, it's not a real mirror, so there's not a mirrored effect going on there. It's just kind of a silver pearlescent sheen to it. Not a lot of detailing going on with the mirror. She looks very good though. You can tell that the paint kind of bled together here around her feet because you have the green color for the laces on her shoes and it's kind of mixed in with her skin color, especially around like the top of her foot. Her eyes, yeah, fake eyelashes for sure. Very thick eyeliner, but I really like her hair. Okay, let's put her together with her additional limbs. I'm gonna take her head off. I feel like taking their heads off is a lot easier because then you have a lot more room to kind of wiggle the arms into place. Get on there, man. So tough. Ow, ow, it's kind of painful trying to get them on there. Okay, got her hand in place. Let's get the other hand in place. We gotta shift it into place on there. It's very tough. I like how she's holding her mirror though. It's a nice, cute pose. All right, snapped her head back into place. Let's get her on her stand and move on. Oh no! Is your bow supposed to come off? Her bow just came off. Oh, it kind of clicks back into place. Oh, wait, can I remove it to put this on? Will that make my life easier? <laughs> okay, well, that helped a little bit. Oh, I just noticed something. So this bow has a bit of a tilt to it, so you can kind of move it around. So I do think it's supposed to come out. How did I just figure this out? Well, it's not like they came with directions or anything, just pictures on their boxes. Okay, she's a little bit easier to put on hers as well. She looks cute. Let's do the next one. Another thing I wanted to point out is I appreciate that Pluto does not have the same skin tone as the rest of the Sailor Senshi. For example, she's a very pale girl. Pretty much all of the characters have the same skin tone except for Pluto. She's a little bit darker skin tone, so you do have a bit more like melanin to her. I appreciate that because technically she is supposed to be darker skin toned. Well, since we're talking about Pluto, let's go ahead and put her together with her staff. Luckily, she only comes with one arm that you have to replace. Oh, thank God. I swear, these things are making my hands raw. Let's get this one into place. I'm gonna be very careful with it. I don't wanna mess up her talisman. That's hard to do. That's a real pain in the butt. I almost feel like her sleeve is not always all the way on there. It almost, so it looks like her sleeve was plastered on there a little bit too far away from her shoulder. So there's a tiny space in between her shoulder and where her sleeve guard goes. So that's a, that's a little annoying. I don't like that. And she is stuck in there all the way. So don't know if that's just a flaw of mine or if that's normal for all of them, but here you go. Here's Sailor Pluto. I love that her talisman has a little bit of a shine to it. It looks really pretty. Her key looks awesome. I also love that she has the time keys on her belt, the space time keys. That's so cool. Her hair looks really cute. I do like her expression. Very, very cute. All right, let's get her on her stand. There, okay, she wasn't too bad. Here is Sailor Pluto. She looks pretty good. She's cute. Last for the outer Sailor Guardians, we have Super Sailor Saturn, one of my faves. I love Saturn so much. She's so cute and yet so strong. People totally underestimate her and then she just like destroys an entire world. Oh, this tiny girl, what could she do? Destroy your entire world, that's what. Snap that into place. Oh, really work it in there. There we go. Okay, I just felt it snap into place. Trying not to destroy her silence glaive because I feel like she would destroy me if I did. Get her bow back on there, kind of fell off. She's so cute and she looks much shorter and much smaller than the other characters. <gasps> no, get back on there. No, you're not supposed to come off. Get on there. Okay, I got it back on there. She's fine. We're fine, we're good, we're all gravy. Everything is good here. Oh my God, her bow keeps on falling apart. Get back on there, stay. I don't got time for this. I got things to do, like watching Netflix. I feel like her stand is too tall. She's such a shorty. Please don't fall apart, Sailor Saturn, while I try to put your head back on. Okay, we have Sailor Saturn put together. There she is. <laughs> 
Don't go anywhere, Sailor Saturn. Please don't fall off your stand. That was a pain. Okay, Super Sailor Moon comes with her Kaleidomones Moon Scope. So does Chibi Moon. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <laughs> Do you feel the pain emanating from my fingertips? They're like, they're numb. At this point of putting all of these characters together with their little articulating limbs, my fingers are starting to feel numb. Also, by the way, for anybody watching who is interested, Hollow Taco. I love Hollow Taco. Sailor Moon has her Kaleida Moon Scope in her right hand. Sailor Chibi Moon holds her kaleidoscope in her left hand. Does that mean Chibi Moon is a lefty? I'm asking the important questions here. Is Chibi Moon left-handed? Does somebody know? Can somebody answer that for me? I know we've seen her writing. She writes like love notes and stuff. So I just need to go back and watch it to find out. She's probably right-handed. You know, I looked it up and only 10%, her bow fell off. Only 10% of the world population is left-handed. I'm a lefty. This world was made for right-handed people. Ah, yes, okay, I got it on there. Oh, oh myself a drink after this, bow back on there. Now the bows are supposed to come off. They, they are articulating, so you can remove them. You can kind of twist them around. So they do move a little bit. Just keep that in mind. Don't panic if the bows come off while you're putting your figure arts minis together. It's totally fine. You can put them back into place. They are the kind of things that if you move them around too much, they will probably just fall right off. So if you want to stick them in a specific place and not have them move around, I don't know, super glue them if you want to. <laughs> I'm not going to because I, I feel like I'm just going to set them over on my display and then not touch them ever again. Okay, let's get her stand on her. These stands are really tough to get into their backs. I really don't want to break them. But I feel like sometimes I just get a little bit too tough with my collection. Ooh, all right. My fingers hurt. Oh. No, she fell off the stand again. Damn it, damn it, Sailor Moon. Please stay on your stand. Okay, please stay on your stand. There's Sailor Moon. She's top heavy. I think she's gonna fall backwards. Uh, I need to fix her feet. Last but not least, Chibi Moon. Y'all, this is hard. And it's not like hard complicated. It's just a pain. And it it definitely does kind of make your fingers numb trying to work, work out these limbs. I do not recommend. Next time I do one of these videos, I am not going to save up this many of these figure art minis and put them all together at the same time because this was a bad idea. I mean, they are really cute. They are really, really cute. But dealing with this many at the same time is just a little bit too much work that I want to put my fingers through. I mean, like, I work at a computer. Sometimes I build computers, but I don't have callous hands. I got like a girl that works at a computer all day hands. Like they're pretty dainty, okay? <laughs> I got Bath and Body Works hand lotion hands. So dealing with this much pressure on my fingers and trying to work out these teeny tiny little pieces over and over again, definitely makes them feel a little numb. Put your characters together at separate times <laughs> so you don't have to deal with them and then leave them there forever and never touch them ever again. Never, never again. I know some people are gonna look at this and be like, why are you putting them together this way? Why are you doing it that way? Cause you know what? It works for me. After I do this, I'm gonna look up like hacks on how to deal with figure art mini stands so that they're easier to deal with for my future videos. It's like, I'm over here. Huh. Getting sweaty, just trying to get this dang stand in Chibi Moon's back. Good lord. Why are you wearing a hoodie in the middle of summertime? Because we got the AC on and... Okay, um, I'm done. <laughs> Here's Chibi Moon. I am done. I'm done with all of them. So my thoughts, very cute figures. Definitely collect them. Once you get them into their pose that you are happy with, never touch them again because they easily fall off their little stands, which are very hard to place into their backs. The limbs, they, they have really good ball joints. So I don't feel like the limbs are going to fall out. The bows are kind of finicky. Some of those kind of fell out of place as you saw during this recording. But I think that now that I have them into their places, there ain't no way I'm gonna put them back into their boxes to display them that way. I'm gonna leave them out like they are, like they are in their poses, put their extra limbs back in their boxes, and that's it. That is it. 
I'm never touching these things ever again. But I'm happy that I have them. I feel like they are a really cute display piece, a very cute figure to own, but not something that I would toy around with all the time. So I'm gonna leave them be. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. And if you have collected any of the Figu Arts minis, I am very curious if you like them as well. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. Jane.